What is going on, everybody? And we are back here with another diecast review. This is DB43 here. As always, today's video will be on Wedding Day Ramon from the Storytellers Collection of 2009, I believe is the year when the Storyteller Collection cars first came out. The only ones I do have are the easiest ones to get, which are Smell Swell McQueen and Sponsorless Lane McQueen. So it's great to have one that is kind of expensive, not as expensive as, say, Bubba, which is another tow truck summer to Mater that I think used to bully Mater from what I've heard online and from other great friends of mine but this is the only one I do have that's just the point I'm trying to explain other than sponsorless McQueen smells so McQueen so it's nice to get another storyteller's car I was lucky enough to get this off of eBay for 20 bucks which is an incredibly amazing deal in my opinion I did get this like a while ago, like at the end of January for my birthday, so I am not entirely sure when this will come out, but hopefully soon because I've had this for almost a month and I haven't even recorded the video yet, so I'm doing it right now, so let's go right on to the package review. As you guys see, we have Wayne Day Ramon in like this yellow rectangle down here. Not really a rectangle, but it has like a little slant right there. It's a pretty cool little name tag thing. Wayne Day Ramon is in blue text. Of course, we have the die cast right there. It says RS1930. I'm not sure what significance 1930 has because I think Raider Springs was founded in 190 something, not in the 1930s. So I don't know. Probably some other significance. Maybe when Stan, Stanley and Lizzie got married. I'm not sure. But there we have a little art picture of when they were that looks super cartoony but that was what it was in 2009 with the storytellers cards i kind of liked because it's more like a cartoon animation storytellers collection and it has a book design in it and i really do like that because of course it's storytellers and when you hear story you probably are thinking of a book so we have the world of cars up here because this was released around the world of cars line and now the background really does remind me of the packaging for 2018 with the desert packaging although this looks more like a concept art of a desert on the back, they show you some other books and stories that were part of the Storyteller's line. I never read any of them, but I definitely want to get some books so I can read them soon because these are some pretty interesting stories. As you guys see, we have Banged Up. And now a word from our sponsor, Hoodwinked Showstopper in Chow America. And it says just some other stuff right here. You can pause and read that if you like. And now if you look closely in there, you can see some more die casts. So we will open that up right now. Although it's kind of like the unboxing, so... This thing is basically just put on by Velcro. I know it's super hard to see, but the thing is really just put on by Velcro. It's super hard to come on by, as you guys see. There is the Velcro, and if you put it up like this, you can see the die cast that shows right here. It says, collect them all. You see Retro Ramon, which has definitely, right, right, oh my god, I can't even speak today, rised up in price nowadays, and I do not have this one, unfortunately. All the other ones on the back I do have, though. Sponsorless Light McQueen, Smell Swell Light McQueen, Brand New Mater, Doc Cuts and Flow, Dusty Rusties, Rusty Rusty. Rusty use red and tractor. Right here we have Showstopper. Flo was a glitzy and glamorous motorama show girl traveling from state to state before she met Ramon and parked in Raider Springs. So I'm assuming that that was the little book that this wedding day Ramon appeared in, or else I don't really know why I would show that one in specific. So I'm assuming that's the one that actually did appear in, so that's pretty cool. Enough talking, and let's take wedding day Ramon here out of the package. Alright everyone, so we got the Storyteller Wedding Day Ramon here out of the package, looking great, so let's go right on to the review of it. So basically, it has the same design as Flo, so this is basically a little glimpse for us as what Ramon would look like with Flo's regular paint scheme. He doesn't look the best of it in my opinion, I mean, I'm not saying it looks bad, it looks good, but it's just not really the best paint job he's ever had, but it still looks very nice, I must say, and it's a nice tribute to Flo, of course. So as you guys see, he has a very happy expression right there because he's smiling. The blue eyes, flat eyelids, actually, this is raised eyelids because this was a 2009 release. And there was no such thing as flat eye cars back then. They always made it raised. And that means when you rub your finger across the eyes, you can feel like that little bump with like the indentation of the eyelids. That's why this one has that. So it actually doesn't have flat eyes. has raised eyes. Of course, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it does have blue eyes. 
I like the little sparkle, sparkle spectral flame job on this remote because you can kind of see the little gl glitters and sparkles around it. it. Looks super cool. You can see his tires right there as well, which are pretty normal. Nothing too exciting about him. Of course, we have this little lighter yellow sort of portion down here, which of course matches Flo's design with having that on the side of her as well. On the back, he has his regular tail lights with low and slow as his license plate, and of course that is his catchphrase, I guess you could say as well. So it's nice so that that is also his license plate it says low and slow of course we have the windows and this side is basically identical to the other side and i just noticed that he does not have a gas cap unless those little indentation things are gas caps and ah uh, that is pretty unfortunate as you guys see there's like this little black line right here it's not really a chip so i don't really feel it as a chip, so I don't know, maybe it's like a paint blem or something like that, so that would be kind of unfortunate, but I guess it's not too bad, it's not so noticeable, but yeah, kind of disappointing on a release, especially one like this one, of course we have his traditional common two-piece artist mustache, because I guess a paint jobber in the Cars world is an artist in real life, and Ramon's always been one of my favorite Raider Springs Townie characters, so the fact that I have another version of him is definitely amazing. Of course, this Ramon is from the Storyteller's book, so he did not appear in any of the three movies at all, so we won't be showing any pictures of him from the movies, because obviously, he never appeared in any of them. It was just a made-up series by Mattel, and I gotta say, I really did like this one. It was one of their better creations, in my opinion, because it brought background stories to some of the Raiders from Townies, and some rare releases as well, and cool ones as well, so... Here she is, or here he is, compared to Flo here, of course, his wife, and of course, Flo, or Ramon is Flo's husband, so they look great together, and I would definitely see this as what they would, if they were having their wedding day, this was probably what Ramon would look like, to look like Flo, probably, I guess that's what they're trying to say. I mean, it probably is what they're trying to say. I mean, there's no... I mean, they have to have called this Wedding Day Ramon for a reason. So, yeah, here are the two compared to each other. Let me know in the comment section down below. Who do you think looks better with this type of paint job? Flo or Ramon? Pretty short video, but there's really nothing else to talk about with this Wedding Day Ramon right here because they didn't appear in any of the movies. Only got re released once, which was in 2009, which was nine years ago, and he still has not gotten a re-release. Honestly, I don't see him getting a re-release anytime soon. The only storytellers cars that have gotten a re-release is probably the reason why they're the easiest ones to get and the non-rarest ones besides the ones that you're able to get that actually did appear in the movie are, of course, Sponsorless McQueen and Smell Swell McQueen. So there was nothing really much to talk about, but that is going to wrap up this review of Storytellers Ramon right here, or Wedding Day Ramon, since that is his actual name. Hope everyone who did watch and enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for your great support recently, and I'll see you guys all next time in the next video. Let them know your rating on a scale of 1 to 10 of Wedding Day Ramon up here, as always. So peace out.